At more than $3 a millilitre, it would be cheaper to print your vacation pics with Dom Perignon. But inkjet cartridges are 95% water. So what's the other 5%? The colour comes from three dyes. Reactive Red 23, Direct Blue 199 and Acid Yellow 23. Each lives in its own cartridge with a little ethylene glycol, that's antifree, to keep it mixed with the water. Each cartridge has hundreds of tiny nozzles that spray drops of ink thousands of times per second. What could possibly go wrong? A lot. For one thing, the adhesive strips you pull off when you open a fresh cartridge are great at keeping the ink from drying out, but they're also full of metal contaminants. Left on the print head for too long, the contaminants can foul the ink and clog up the nozzles. That's where EDTA steps in. Its claw-like molecular structure snatches metal ions before they cause a jam. Then there's the surface tension of the ink. Too little tension and it will pour out of the cartridge. Too much and it won't move at all. Ethoxylated acetylenic dials lower it to just the right point. But it's not over once the ink hits the paper. A solvent called cyclohexanon helps the ink stick to the slippery polymers on supergloss photostock. Butyl urea slows down the shrinkage that happens when moisture evaporates from cellulose fibres, which would otherwise cause the paper to warp and wrinkle. That's a lot packed into every drop. But worth its weight in fancy French champagne? You make the call. Feeling wired yet? Subscribe.